What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization 5. Uh, in the last part, I still remember this. Um, <clears throat> we had some problems with um, happiness, which eventually uh, we, we fixed. We're building the Circus Maximus right now, which is pretty good in Venice. And uh, Belgrade is, is, well, they don't have enough food because they're idiots. And it's set to a default focus, which I don't know why that is, but how are they... N they're not getting enough food. Uh, so I guess these people are probably... They're making trading posts, but why? I feel like farms would be a way better investment, so... Make a farm there. These people need food, or, well, they were they will die. I mean, that's pretty much bound uh, to happen. And then also, I was making a pasture here... But we can't even work that tile, so that has no um, <clears throat> no value. So instead, I'm going to make forts, which is someone uh, pointed out to me that there's no sense in making stuff like farms and stuff uh, outside of the circle around the city. Uh, so I made kind of a mistake by doing that anyway. Um, let's see, how else are we doing? I haven't played this in a while. We are pretty good uh, in terms of literacy, but all the other stuff is definitely uh, lacking. And most importantly, we're going to need more cargo ships. So as soon as the Circus Maximus is done, I will make a cargo ship or two and try to trade with more people, get more money. Because that's what Venice is all about. But yeah, anyway, I haven't really played Save the last couple of days. Um, because Dark Souls 2 came out and that game has just eaten all of my time. It's, cr it's pretty crazy. I've just been playing... Belgrade is starving, I know. Look, I'm trying to help them out by making farms, but they're not making it really easy for me. Um, <clears throat> so I don't think Washington actually has his own religion, so he's probably not going to mind if I, um, if I uh, convert his citizens to my religion. And also, if I do that, I should get a bunch of science, which is pretty good. Um, seriously, they're still alive. Okay, one more turn for the wall in Belgrade and uh, crab. Do I have extra crab? I do. Um... Wait a minute. That is not gonna work for me, but I can I can do that. Thank you. So let's see, I have one great work right now, but we have open borders with Egypt, which might help a little bit in terms of getting influential, but it's gonna make pretty much no difference. Uh, I just figured I'd go for it, and then also Alexander's building up for a sneak attack. He better not be sneaking up against me. Belgrade's still starving. We're not going to kill him with this. We're going to kill him with the crossbowman. Yeah, he's getting really close to me now. He's making all these cities everywhere, and I do not like it, but um, there's not much I can do right now. Antwerp. Yeah, we can trade with Antwerp, so that's something that I do want to do. Uh, okay, it seems that they're no longer starving, which is good. I don't know what they changed, but something did change. Uh, I can't buy a tile. I can do very little to help him out except maybe send a trade route that way, which I should do anyway. Is send trade routes to both Belgrade and Zurich um, to help him out a bit. You know, maybe some production, some food, anything will help really. Uh, but we got to get the Circus Maximus going first. And then my Great Gallius is being attacked. Or is it a Great? Yeah, it's a Great Gallius. Now, luckily for me, the Great Gallius is pretty strong and it can. Uh, I can take it. Uh, let's kill, let's, ooh, yes, let's kill that guy. <clears throat> just 100% damage. Sweet. Uh, you're just gonna stick around over here. You're gonna go north and convert Washington. And hope that it helps. Uh, I will no longer make any units because I've been told that that is a giant waste of time. Uh, extra culture could be pretty good. It's 25%, that's about 7 culture per turn. Um... But I feel like I should make a cargo ship, first of all, and um, trade with Antwerp, if I'm not already trading with them, which I don't think I am. No, I'm trading with the, the Greeks. Pharsalos, or whatever. Look at this. Yep. So this guy's obviously kind of the warmonger dude in this game, so I'm going to say yes to that. Because it sounds like a pretty good plan. Hope he doesn't, you know, double-cross me or anything like that. I'm not going to give him open borders or any other type of, um, of deal, but it, it certainly helps to be buddies for a little bit and see what happens there. Come on, Washington. We're coming for you. Let's see. They have Buddhism. They have Islam. They have no religion. And then the, uh, the Polish actually have, uh, Catholicism. Uh, so that's interesting. Anyway, one more turn for a bank. Yep, bank. And two more for cargo ship. I want to get that cargo ship. 
so I can finally trade with people a bit more. Because uh, I've been kind of neglecting the uh, my trade routes. I have 11 spaces for trade routes. And, um, oh, come on. This is the only reason he wanted to be friends with me, is so we could uh, declare war on uh, Harun al-Rashid. Which, I have no interest in doing that whatsoever. I have one of the smallest militaries, and it's kind of insane that he would even ask me this. Um, but I'm happy. Okay, they dislike my proposal. Uh, pretty much everyone is friends with me, even Alexander now, but Harun al-Rashid did not like my proposal, although, you know, he's not a very military guy, so he's probably not gonna try and kill me or anything like that. Let's go one more tile and fire at this boat. Just destroy it. I'll just leave the ship sort of in the Bay of Menace so that if someone does attack me, I'll have a little bit of defense from the sea. Could be pretty useful. Uh, cargo ship one more turn. Let's just go for it. I really need to get these cargo ships going. And then after that, we can see about other things. But I would like to send food to Belgrade and probably Zurich as well. It's a very small city and it needs to grow. Vatican City under attack. Oh boy, we have a musket man right there. Uh, that's not good. Guess they're growing, but they're growing super slowly. Um, so what I'll actually do is I'm going to make another farm here. Sorry about the gold, but we need the food. Pretty sure they already have a caravanser. You know, that's fancy stuff. Let's get you over here. I don't know what these guys... Oh boy, they have 30 strength. That is a bit much for me. But uh, we're going to do what we can against them, obviously. Cargo ship. So I can uh, trade raw claw and get a little bit of science from that. Or, yeah, that's the highest amount of money I can really get. So let's do it. 81 gold per turn. It's pretty insane. I have a feeling that the bank uh, definitely helped getting to this level. We have 8 happiness, which is quite good. I'm going to get another cargo ship because we can get one in only 2 turns. And we're going to send food over to Belgrade. Uh, or Zurich. I'm not really sure yet. But we are definitely going to get some stuff done here. And after that, I will worry about stuff like science and other things of that nature. I think I will probably go for a science victory. Uh, because there is no economic victory, sadly. Else I would have gone for that, but uh, it's not. it doesn't exist. Launch the sneak attack. It's probably going to be Harun al-Rashid, but my worker... Um, I mean, my spy is not telling me that. Um... This shouldn't matter, so let's make a fort right there as well. I want you to go over here and help out the, um, the crossbowman. There's probably another encampment that just spawned, or he came from up there. Either way, it's not good for me. Uh, keep going north. We have no reason to be in the south. And the boat would be, uh, quite useful, I feel. Uh, we'll cargo ship one more turn. They're gonna have a castle in two. <clears throat> good for them. I haven't really made any of those buildings. I think in Venice, it's kind of, um... It's gonna be pretty easy for the enemy to take the city, but I don't really care about that, because we have no enemies. And, uh... I don't think we've ever had war in this game. We've been over 200 turns, and we haven't had a single real war, so... I think we're gonna be just fine. Kill the musket man. I want you to actually go... There we go. Go over there and, uh, check shit out. And convert Washington. Boom. Should give me some science, I think. Uh, cargo ship. So I could trade with Antwerp and get a bunch of money. Which wouldn't be all that bad, I think. Then again, I also want to send uh, food to Zurich. But I'll go for the money first. I'll make another trade cargo ship thing. And um, send it over to Zurich. You know, get a, lo a lot of food that way. Another cargo ship. Three more turns this time. Should be fine. I think we got this. Because they're not growing at all. Neither is Belgrade. They're just doing pretty shit. And I'm gonna keep saving up a little bit of money until I get to about a thousand. And then I'll probably buy a building or two in one of my, uh, my puppets. Look at that. He's got a whole fleet up there. What the hell is the point of that? He's got like five caravels. Oh, triremes, I mean. That's even worse. What the hell? Trait root plundered. Really? That fast? Between Venice and Rawclaw. Okay. Wait, I think it's a trade route that I... Yeah, no, it's a trade route I established. It's just been uh, destroyed. Let's go, boys. We're gonna find these barbarians and then uh, kill them. We should also convert New York. There is a bit of pressure for my religion still, which... I'm not sure why they're getting that, but uh, works for me. Also, economics in one more turn, which is gonna give me a lot of extra money. 
Alexander, uh, no thank you. No thank you. I am not gonna get involved in all these different wars that are going on because we're Venice, you know, we're peaceful and all we care about is making a shitload of money. Economics. Really? Compact. Two gold? What the fuck? Are we not working all these trade things? They should really... That's weird. Oh, actually went up more. Okay, well, fine. Guess I'm happy with that. Next science-y thing. Let's take a look. We got industrialization, which gives me access to Big Ben. Which is pretty good for me, really. Uh, factories, also quite good. Um, steam power. Wait a minute, didn't you need steam power for the World Congress? I don't know anymore. I have three um, votes now, probably because of the uh, Forbidden Palace. Which is quite good for me. Architecture, Taj Mahal. The Porcelain Tower, but I don't have rationalism yet. Uh, let's see, you need to be probably in the industrial era to get it. Okay, I think I can just... I think I can just... Uh, starting in the industrial era. I think I can just um, get the uh, rationalism, which would be uh, pretty awesome. Chemistry gives me a bunch of production. Um, to be honest, I really like the, uh, the Porcelain Tower and the... Uh, Touch my lot so much, I don't really care about that. The Hermitage, I also quite like. That's a lot of extra science. I mean, a culture. And it gives you, um... Three slot, You know, a couple of slots for great works of art. And more shit. But industri industrialization will get me into the industrial era. And also give me Gatling guns. Factories, the Big Ben, and coal. So I'm gonna go with this, uh, next. Before we convert New York. Guys, only got one more use left. Um, sure. Get me my cargo ship, but before we... Oh, Zerik is growing again. Let's see what we can get here. See, they have a bunch of buildings already. Like, a lot of them, too. Um, but they're still not... They're still not getting money, which... Or, I mean, they're still not getting food, which I don't really understand. Uh, because there's not a lot I can really get in the city anymore. So, I'm confused. Why, they're... I guess they just have a shit island over there. Uh, we could buy a harbor over here. We already have a caravansary. I think we should get a caravan. Which is pretty cheap. And we're gonna use that to trade with the uh, Americans. Which hopefully will also improve our relations. You know, I've been friends with America for a while, but... Um, wait a minute. Seven faith. That is a lot. Trade route plunder. Really? Between Venice and Antwerp. Some fucker is just going around and just taking everything I own. Cat Keto we say. Oh, he's made he's made a new city right there. We can trade with this for sure. Um we wanna do that. Do we wanna do that? You know what? I think that we should send some food to um Belgrade before we do this. That should help him grow, like a lot too. Uh Boston, New York, Philadelphia, and we got Washington. Uh, we could do this one, seems pretty good, because they get a lot of money out of it, I get a lot of money out of it, and then also I send my pressure over to Boston, my religion. Uh, so that's a pretty good one. I like that. Let's go. Belgrade is now, yep, it's growing. That's good, that's what I wanted. We're gonna need another cargo ship, and I need the, uh, this Gallius actually to go and clear out the ocean. Uh, because I need my trade routes with the, uh, the other, other civilizations. Uh, that's probably where they were coming from. Uh, convert New York. I think we should go even more north over to Egypt. And wait a minute. They ha yeah, they have their own religion. See, I don't want to fuck them over. Uh, because that will piss them off, like, real good. So instead, I will try to convert some more American cities uh, to my religion, which is the best religion. Obviously. And after that, let's see. Because they once Brussels bullied. I'm not planning on bullying anyone. Oh, great writer. Yes. You established between Zurich and Boston. Really? That was like one turn. Oh, obviously. Okay, so they got some... Another encampment uh, came around. Always the good thing. Uh, that it would be a horrible waste. Let's get a great work in here. One ought not to be unkind to a woman merely on account of her plainness. Any more than one had the right to take liberties with her. Merely because she was handsome. It's a beautiful piece of writing by uh, Murasaki Shikibu. Uh, from uh, Genji Monogatari, which is obviously a Spanish book. 
Uh, yeah, it's great. It's a great piece of writing. Anyway, I think this worker is pretty much done here. Uh, yeah, go wipe these dudes out. Oh, nope. Didn't mean to do that. Nope, you're gonna attack them, actually. Great writer has been used, so I now have two great works, which is pretty cool. Let's combine them over here. I am not allowed to, or are you... Oh, okay. What? What the fuck? No theming bonus. That was weird. Yeah, I don't think I can actually get a theming bonus going. Which is kind of suck, but that's just the way it is. Um, okay, library. Oh, it doesn't actually... Are for different eras, different civilizations, different eras, and from civilizations other than the city owner. All I have is two of my own writings. They're both from Venice, but they are from different eras, so maybe if we get a museum, we might be able to get a bonus out of this. Um, I think I'm actually going to go for Boston next. And you need to go and make sure the trade route is safe. Because we are about to have another cargo ship. At least the thing to uh, freaking Belgrade did not get destroyed. I mean, that's good. And uh, what I actually forgot to do is I want you guys... Okay, I guess I can't do that anymore. I want them to go and wipe out the barbarians over there. Look at that. They made Atlanta right over here. Defensive pact with Washington has ended. Let's see if we can get that going again. I trust you are a friend to liberty. Yes, he wants it. And then we got Greece. Defensive I pact. Yes. So now if anyone attacks either of us, they're going to have a bit of, uh, of problems. They're going to have some real problems here. Each world wonder. I'm going to put in three votes for this. And I don't think I have spices, so I don't give a shit about that one. So here you go. That's how the voting is going to go. Uh, in Venice, we are going to make... Kind of want to make a Musician's Guild, maybe? Or the Sistine Chapel could be pretty good to combat the, um, the tourism of the other civilizations. So, I'm going to go for that, because I can actually do it now. And we will trade with... Uh, they're actually not super close. I think I will send... Wait, you're just making money now? Why? I mean, I like it, but what the heck? Ah, oh, whatever. Uh, let's help Zurich grow. We need it to become a bigger city, and this should be a huge boost, so that's that's nice. And we're going to wipe out barbarians, because that's what we do. Shoot them in the face. Good job. Let's see if they can finish it. They can. And then after this, I'm sending the units that are over here. I'm sending you guys up north. As soon as this stupid guy's done. Okay, encampment has been cleared. Come on, keep going. We're going to save Boston from the false religions that are pestering it. We're sending this guy over there as well. Oh, they're still working on this fort. That actually is taking them quite a while. Um, but I need to wipe out these dudes that are pestering Zurich. Because they're quite annoying, and I want Zurich to be successful and all that. So, that's what we're doing. I got loads of money. I think we got it. I don't think I have to worry about barbarians that are over there, because they're probably annoying Memphis and not me. Vancouver wants gems, some bunch of stuff. Luxury stuff uh, fills cultural heritage sites past. Okay, that's good. I'm getting a lot of extra culture from this. Oh, are you seriously destroying my farm right now? Because that is just not okay. Still haven't seen the barbarians that are doing this to me. And I get to make another proposal, so I will do uh, just that. Embargo, don't want to do that. Sending army tech scholars and residents. Uh, discover no, that does not good for me actually. Uh, world religion, science is funding, arts funding. Three civs would be actually happy about this, so I'm gonna go for arts funding, uh, so that I may get more great works and maybe still win a cultural victory. Which, in the end, is kind of what I want, but I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to do it. Um, but we'll see about that. It's, uh, it's still on the table. There's no... Nothing is set in stone uh, quite yet. Zurich. How about you get... Let's see, M5 Theater. Harbor could be good, because it would get me a... They're still not connected? How the fuck is that even possible? Get a harbor here. There we go. Now, next turn, it should say that they're finally connected to Venice, and that should net me a little bit of extra money. Our goals are aligned. I'm glad they are, Egypt. I'm glad they are. 
because uh, I wasn't planning on fighting you over it, that's for sure. See, so you're doing a castle. So far, after playing it for a couple hundred turns, the farm has been destroyed. You son of a bitch. Connection established. That's like 11 extra gold, I think. Damn. Quite, quite a big difference, really. Okay, let's go. I actually want this guy to stick around over here to make sure that no other uh, civilizations show up at my doorstep because that would be very annoying, for sure. Rationalism is definitely next. It gives me... Plus 10% extra uh, extra science when the Empire's happy. And uh, it's pretty good. I could go for this one, but that doesn't really help me that much. Uh, I could also go for either of these ones, but for now, let's go with rationalism. Get science. It's a pretty good extra little bonus. Uh, research agreement with uh, Washington has ended. I totally forgot that was in place. Where the fuck did this warrior come from, anyway? He is not supposed to be there. Don't worry, we we are here to uh, save you from uh, Islam. Our religion is way better. Uh, let's see, we got two more turns of that. It's gonna grow though, that's nice. It's the only downside to having my cities grow is the fact that the happiness is gonna go down, but I'm sure that I can Here's figure that one out. Uh, yeah, you got it. I have the money to do this now. I can actually afford a research agreement in two and a half turns, pretty much. Honestly, trade routes are ridiculously awesome. Oh yeah, as I was saying, I've been playing for a couple hundred turns now, and uh, I'd have to say that Venice is not my favorite civilization, like, at all. It's, uh, I don't know, I don't like being able to tell cities what to do. Uh, it sort of feels like the game really takes a lot of control away from you uh, when you're playing as Venice, because you get very little input as to, you know, what cities should do and all that. Uh, let's go with this. I think I just got extra money from that, which is good. Or less money, what the... No, that's because of the, um, the city connection that's been broken. Yeah, I don't know. But, um, Venice, so far, not a big fan. It's very unlikely that after this game I'll play as them again. Uh, they're certainly unique and enjoyable to play for one game. Uh, okay, our goals are aligned. Everybody's pretty happy about this. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not really my type of, uh, my cup of tea. Alexander's declared war on Harun al-Rashid. So that's the person he was planning on harassing. Trading post's been destroyed. Work has begun on the M5 Theater. Here we come. We're gonna wipe you guys out. Hope you're ready to die. Kill them, please. Uh, shoot this guy because he sucks and he needs to be dealt with. Go over here. You know, I wish I had more units um, to deal with all these barbarians, but I've been told time and time again not to make more units and I already had too many. So, um, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make more. Open borders? I don't think so, buddy. I definitely do not think so. You probably have more great works than I do. Yeah, a lot more. So that seems like kind of a stupid idea. I'm not doing it. Uh, my influence isn't growing quite as fast as I was hoping it would. Although I guess that's to be expected. Let's trade with, um, Barcelos again. Which we would get some pressure, but that's not that big of a deal because it's not my, uh, my main city, or I mean, it is my main city. I mean, it's a holy city, so it's not going to convert that easily. It's going to take a lot more than this. Here we go. Let's kill these dudes. Defensive pact with Casimir has ended. I totally forgot we had one of those in place, but I guess we did. Uh, industrialization in two more turns. Let's get that. And I'm just hoping that the Sistine Chapel will help me. Another defensive pact, eh? Uh, yeah, okay. You got it. This guy is not earning any money at all. Uh, I don't want to be friends with you because you're not friends with Greece, and they are infinitely more dangerous than this guy, so... I will not participate in this little, uh... This little fight over here. My literacy needs to go up. Oh, it just went up by like five. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Got no clue. GMP? Poland is making more money than I, it says, but... Minus 13 gold per turn. So either they have a ridiculously large army, or this this uh, demographic is just bogus and it doesn't work. I'm not really sure which one it is. Did we just destroy that boat in literally one move? Uh, because that's impressive. For sure. We have a musket man still here. Totally forgot about him. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have that? Uh, garrison doing cost no maintenance. Yeah, I forgot I actually had that. But I do have it. 
Wills. Do I have extra wills? Okay, you got extra... Sure. He actually offered me his last cotton, which is not a usual thing. Gonna have to say no to that one, because America uh, also has... Yes, you're friends with America. That's great. Uh, see, America actually has the highest amount of great works of all, so... Definitely holding off on the, um... On the great works there. Not a big fan. Industrialization. Please tell me I have some coal. Because I need it. Industrialization. Okay, we got it. This is if the industrial era. Starving. Uh, a spy's been recruited. Let's get you back in the city because I'm paying for you. Francesco has been recruited. Uh, I'm going to send you over to Egypt, I want to say. Yeah, let's send him over to Egypt as a boost of tourism output. Okay, actually. Actually. Let's see, who has the least amount of... Poland has the least amount of great works. So I'm sending this guy over to Poland, uh, Warsaw, as a diplomat, where he will improve my um, my uh, tourism output with them, which is sweet, you know, because they have the least amount of great work. So it should probably go the fastest uh, with them now, I'm thinking. Uh, also hoping, by the way. Uh, so we'll see. It looks like in terms of uh, culture, Greece is far ahead of anyone else, but I'm not sure if they have more than I do or how that works, um, but we'll see. Metallurgy, chemistry gives me production, gives me cannons, but I also kind of like navigation because it gives me a seaport, which isn't bad at all, and then also privateers and frigates. Good boats. I don't have iron, though, do I? Oh, I have two iron. That's an idea. Metallurgy, red fort. Red Fort kind of looks like a, um, sort of a different version of the Himeji Castle, but it is something to consider. But the Hermitage is a lot of extra culture, and then also I could get the, um, not the Uffizi, the Porcelain Tower, which isn't bad. I can get more research agreements, so I'm going to go with, uh, Architecture next. This is my plan. Now, I'm going to keep this video going. It's already pretty long. Until I get to the Sistine Chapel. Yes, I'm friends with Poland, which is what Poland has already mentioned. Why would you still bring that up? Um, but what, what I really want from this point onward is great works. I want to try and get the, um... The, uh, the, the cultural victory. That's kind of what I'm going for. Uh, city connection broken again. In Belgrade. Fuck those guys. Shoot them in the face. Uh, okay. It's an industrial era. Just, you just go chill. You go murder them. Actually, that's not gonna work, is it? Can they fire? Oh boy, you're gonna have to actually go into that thing. Let's have you attack first, and then the pikemen. I just want these guys wiped out as fast as I can, because they are bothering me. Okay, they're super annoying. Uh, yep, go for it. Minor victory. There's gonna be some injuries here and there, but I can live with that. It's not the end of the world. How do I suddenly have 73? Oh, because of stupid Belgrade. But they will have an opera house soon, which is more culture for me. So that's awesome. The Red Fort has already been built. Quite fast as well. A little surprised by that. And it's just built in a faraway land, so... I have no clue what that means, or where it really is. City connection established. We almost have that 100 gold... Uh, a turn thing, which is awesome. Finish them off. Okay, I'm done with this. This sucks. This guy is, is pretty much as expendable as it gets, because I... I got him almost for free, so we should be okay. And then in Zurich, I will purchase... Is there anything that gives me science? This is production, a little bit of culture, which also isn't bad at all. Uh, zoo, extra happiness would be quite nice, but we cleared out almost all barbarians, but I gotta wait with the, another caravan until the last one is just gone. So I'm gonna go with an M5 theater and um, get a little bit of extra awesome... Were they already making one? I feel like they were already making one. I just fucked up. Pretty sure they were. Okay. Because I started work on that opera house just crazy fast. Still number one lit lit literacy. But soldiers, I have actually... I'm actually the, the weakest player in terms of soldiers. Except, you know, GMP is still pretty good. Belgrade can fire. Fire that guy. Get rid of him. Because he sucks. This is stupid. Why do all my connections keep being uh, ruined by these fuckers? I'm getting a little tired of this. Let's- you get, need to get away from there. You need to step up because that guy's wounded now and that's not good for me. 
This fucking barbarian is just ruining everything I'm doing. Just give me the Sistine Chapel and I'll be I'll be happy. That's all I really need. I think I'm gonna place one unit in this little sort of pass or valley thing. Uh, to keep an eye out for American soldiers and to also make sure no other uh, encampments spawn around here. Oh boy, that guy's dead. Sorry, dude. Oh, he's still alive. Wasn't expecting that. There's still an encampment, though. Look at this uh, beautiful Sistine Chapel. The picture looks a little fucked up, but I promise you guys it looks a lot better in real life. Uh, I've been there. It's pretty It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, shoot this guy into oblivion. And you go over here, try and walk around this thing. Uh, okay, Venice. Musician's Guild or Artist's Guild? Artist's Guild I can make quicker, so let's start with that, because that's logic in my mind. And, uh, let's see, we got two people in Writer's Guild, one in a university, and they're still growing. We're gonna get a great scientist really quickly, so let's hurry that up a little bit. They're still growing. It's gonna be fine. In about... Oh boy, it's gonna be four more turns until they get a, um... A great scientist, but it should be fine because that should boost my architecture uh, into uh, existence because I don't have it yet, so I should have it by then. Also, what the fuck's my galley is doing? I think it's just sort of protecting shit, but I guess it's not able to go around stupid uh, farce loss, so that blows. Uh, that's just the way it is. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, still loving Civ. And actually, I have some pretty exciting plans for Civ in the future. I won't spoil anything, but you guys will see. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and feel free to leave any, you know, friendly tips, and, um, let me know what you thought of the video uh, in the comments. I will read all of them, uh, as I always do. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.